and welcome to another episode on Sailing Katapa. Welcome to our life on the sea. We are an Australian family that fell in love with the ocean and living on a boat travelling. I'm Sarah and together with Lee and our two kids, Taj and Bella, we are documenting our travels as we sail the world one island at a time. This lifestyle is fun, adventurous, humbling and incredibly challenging, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to our channel to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. This week we lose footage on our iPhone, so now we're going to explain to you what happens in this video. So we're going to fill you in. First of all, we started heading south and we were going to make a stop to fuel up and get some fresh food as we were running out. It's been a hot and sweaty morning. Sarah's been out here for the last hour cleaning vegetables. No shortage of plastic. Typical Asia, bananas, we've got canned corn, looks like Sarah's got some beans there. Green beans. Tomatoes, avocados, a couple of bin tanks for the captain. Oh, look at that. That's what you call a table full of goodness. Bit of toilet paper. And it is hot. So we do is rinse everything before we put it in our fridge, get rid of bugs and also just to clean it. So I got a big tub of water. Put it in there. I have some of this. It's like a, I don't actually know what it is, a lady in Langkawi at the shop, the health shop I used to go to, she gave it to me for free and she said you wash your veggies in it, so I haven't used it before but I'm using it today, washing the veggies. She's not going to talk to the girl. Maybe just put them on All right, the... guys, so we've just uh, washed all our fruit and veggies no, that we've okay. got. We're super stoked. This is a month we've been since we've got some fresh fruit and veggies and um, this will probably last us another month. So happy! All the tomatoes and potatoes and look, I'm so stoked. I'm growing sprouts again. So the sprouts I tried to grow in Malaysia. I could grow them when we had air conditioning in the marina, but um, I hadn't had any luck since I left Australia, but I try. I was like, oh, it's getting a bit cooler lately, so I thought I'd try. And look! Success! So stoked. I was trying to grow them before we got our veggies, so we had some nutrition, but you know. We've got lots now. Now i got to put it all away. And it's hot, baby! She's hot. So it's been three months since our, uh, we filled our gas bottle, it ran out yesterday and we're in Indonesia and we're doing our what we used to do when we are in Indonesia and decanting. You want to talk through your processes? Not yet. Alright, I didn't think I'd be using this one again, but anyway we are. This was a regulator that used to have a gauge on here. I took the gauge off, re-tapped the thread in here and this is our line this is how we can uh, fill our gas um, i suppose one of the things is not to overfill them but um i just measure it as i go i know this has got to be 18 kilos and it's when it's full so i just i'll just check that i think this one's like 13 kilos and this is 11 kilos so there, there'll be a couple of kilos left in this but that's fine this is all i do put it on Got a leak there. It's not real good practice. Here it going into the other tank. It usually only takes about, I don't know, 15 minutes. Um, not even. I can see it leaking there. That's all we've got. Just gonna have to make do with that. No smokers here, so we should be alright. It's actually not too bad of a setup. The only bit I don't like is where I had to tap the thread here. It's, it's a very poor tapping job, so. so apart from that, the system works. Other people have used it. Yeah, Lee lends out that thing quite regularly. <laughs> See if I can fix that. So we've been fueling up. We've got all these jerrys are full and 
We're just seeing whether or not we can fit some jerry cans on this side. This is why Lee uses a filter. This is the bottom. And I also celebrated my 14th birthday. Here's a little bit of what we got up to. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. food and headed south of the equator to the Telos Islands. Big one, honey? We don't usually keep these ones, they're not as good at eating, oh, unless we're real hungry. There you go. Like a, like a torpedo. You don't have to fill it. <laughs> I just fill it as one of them. Just cleaned up. <laughs> Alright guys, we're about to cross the equator. We crossed the equator two years ago. Now south. Now south of the equator. 
I didn't see it cross, did I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We've just gone past the equator. The captain's got himself a fish on the line. Just come past a nice little, coming up to a nice shallow patch of reef in the middle of nowhere. I thought I'd come close to it. This is what happens. Well, you planned this, did you? Call yourself a fisherman, do you? Just a provider, darling. Just a provider for the family. You make the movies, I'll catch the fish. You're amazing, you know that. Grab the gaff, that'd be really nice. Grab the gaff? Why don't I grab the gaff first? Oh, jumping. Oh, it's a mahi. Camera. You want to get the gaff, please? Mahi, mahi. Oh. oh. Have a look at the jumping. Jeez, it's very calm on the equator, isn't it? Really? Yep, grab the gaff. Dinner. Woo -hoo. Good eating these little bad boys. They oh, are. Yeah. Good job, honey. Sashimi. I didn't really cook anything. I just squeezed some lime juice on it. <laughs> well, you got a tuna today. I just chopped it up. A bit of soy and ginger. And we got a little entree. I think we're going to make sushi, but I was making rice and uh, on our way in was a bit rough and the rice cooker got knocked over and the rice went everywhere. So I had to start again. <laughs> so we'll have sushi after this. So with the rest of the tuna, we've got some more, we've got some cooked tuna. I cooked it in soy sauce, lime juice and ginger. And then we've got the raw tuna with ginger, lime juice and soy sauce. We've got some avocado and some rice and having sushi. If you like this video, remember guys, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe. If you want to support us and what we do and our channel, you can head to the link up here. It's one of these. And you can go and look at our Patreon page and become a patron. All right, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. We love you. Don't go anywhere. And there should be a video up here or here. Go check our channel out. Watch more of our videos if you want. And we'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> matching outfits. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, action. Where we got stuck on the last one. Oh. <laughs> we'll see you. <laughs>